What's going on everybody? You're back with Militia Motorsports. Today is a big day. Why is it a big day? Well, I told you Badger was going to get a whole lot better. Well, I ended up getting some parts. So let's start off with some wheels. I got some ITP 12.5 by 7 4x4 lug pattern wheels. They're not very fancy. It's an off-road vehicle. I don't think I need fancy wheels. So, here it is. Pretty nice looking wheel for $45. I was pretty impressed with the price. The Arch Steel wheels, yes, that's a little heavy for a golf cart wheel, but I'm going to do some engine modifications so it'll make up for that. And to run golf, those big wheels and tires on a stock golf cart, you got to get a lift kit. So I did just that. Here we have a eight inch double A arm suspension lift kit for my 1992 Club Car DS. There are currently no no videos on YouTube for an 8 inch. It's the exact same thing as a 6 inch. So I figured I put a installation video on YouTube. There's only a couple of them for the 6 inch. So I'll put that on there for you guys. Show you the parts. Here we have the lift kit itself. Pretty heavy, I must say. Um, all these lift kits are pretty much the same for the double A arm lift kit. You got some heavy duty springs they include in the kit. Some kits come with them, some kits don't. Make sure and check that if you are going to buy one of these. And they come without the bushing on the inside of the eyelet hole but they come in the pack so you have to manually put those in got the shock plate that goes above the lift kit itself and mounts to your shocks we have I haven't unpacked them yet but we got these large, large, heavy-duty uh, spindles. We've got the hardware kit that has the bushings for the leaf spring um, eyelet holes. We've got two U-bolts for the springs. And we also have the blocks for the springs, which go on top of the axle with your springs. We got the mounting plates that go underneath the axle and the U-bolts mount to. We have some heavier duty A-arms. And that's just about it for the lift kit. I will, like I said, I will be doing an installation video of it. Uh, it won't be today, it'll probably be later, maybe this weekend sometime, if I get the chance. Uh, we do have a new addition to the family. And no, that is not it. That is, that's been part of the family for a while. That is Hornet. Hornet is a... 1996 Suzuki DS80 uh, two-stroke. Um, I found that in the garbage. I brought it home, uh, dumped all the old fuel out of it, and put new fuel in, started right up. No questions asked. But it needed a clutch. So I put a clutch in it. It's like brand new. 
you're not brand new. But for a free dirt bike, I'm happy. So I got to do some work to that. I got to put some new spokes on it. Uh, the rear spoke, rear spokes on the rear tire broke off. So I'll do that in another video. Uh, the new part of the family is tantrum, and I'll be doing a video on that later today. So. Please like and subscribe, and that's it for this video. If you want to share the video, go ahead and share it. And I'll see you guys later.